Hey guys, welcome back. We are here today with a demo of a game. And this is by the same guys that made Barn Finders, House Flipper, all those games. And I, I love the company. You'll probably see a lot of their stuff come up on the channel, but... On that note, uh, this is called Accident the Pilot, and it is for their upcoming game. And what it is, basically, is we... Okay, that's... I didn't think there was a tutorial to this, but okay, sure. Anyway, we are investigating traffic accidents, from my understanding. We have to figure out what happened, try to see who we can save, all of that good stuff. So, on that note, we're going to go ahead and run straight into it. Cronenberg Sweet, uh, County, Sweden, October 3rd, 2016, at 12.30. August Nilsson, Jacob Her uh, Haraldson, Ingolf Holtz, Suzanne Allender, August Allender. All right, then. And back into the VR world. Nice to see this countryside. Can I, can I mess with the radio? The GPS? No. Uh, what happens if I put it in park? Nothing. Can't look at my phone. Alright, so let's start with the hazards. Blah, 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 yeah, let's call these people. Turn off ignition of vehicles and mark location, okay. I use my own triangles for that, I'm guessing. Oh, dang, we had to go way back here to mark this one. I mean, it, it makes sense, you know, curvy, hilly road, you're going to want to mark it. Not right behind the cars. Come on, there we go. Alright, let's see what would have happened here. He swerved for some reason. Okay, fine. I'll use my fire extinguisher. I'll just take yours to refill mine. Oh, that's one heck of a fire. <laughs> uh, let's see. Aim at the face. Come on. Uh, turning off the ignition cars. Come on. Give me your fire extinguisher. Is there a way to crouch? Nope. Alright then. I need to mark locations, so we'll take your warning triangles this time. Yeah, one of these people is already dead. I'm guessing it's the guy that was on the ground. Come on. Drop. There we go. Uh, turn off ignition of all vehicles. I've got it in three of them so far. Can't get through there. Um, shit. <laughs> Alright, where is your ignition? Turn it off. Get back out of the car. Okay, so you, I can do this way. Turn off your ignition. Where you are, and check on all victims. Uh, Ingolf, is that your real name?
All right, gash yourself open pretty bad. Yeah, they need to hurry up and get here. <clears throat> ah. All right, Gerald. I'm guessing you uh you can't hear me, can you? Then. Oh. Oh, you're alive. I really didn't expect him to be alive still. He's dead. Come on, Kato. What's up, man? Okay. Alright, check my exact location. How the hell do I do that? Oh, yeah, I've got a GPS in my car. Alright, come on, come on, come on. So some of these people are not doing well at all. Uh, when, yeah, yeah, that, that actually makes, uh, helps the victims. Okay. Yeah, paramedics need to get here, like, quickly. Okay, so the kid is doing worse than any of them, surprisingly. Come on, kid, let's get you stable. Okay, so I need... Gloves first. Open airway. Okay, that one didn't count. Why didn't that one count? Nope. Okay. Okay, then. So you have a very short time. Get out of the car. Alright, start with the child. Give him five initial breaths, maybe enough to restore breathing. Okay, kid is not doing well again. And I have noticed that uh, some of the things you do, they seem to... Like, the first aid kit there stayed. Okay, back out of that. Come on. Give me my gloves. one. Check breathing. All right. Uh, that one. next non-breathing adult, which is going to be... You, isn't it? Wait. My first aid kit. I still have a first aid kit. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to end up doing this. Get inside the car. Unbuckle seatbelt. Pull out. 
Come on, dude. Don't you die on me. Don't you die on me. Where is he? You're gonna die, aren't you? Alright. Open the airway. Apply the mask. Okay, come on. Did he did he die? Okay, I didn't kill him. All right, check breathing. Oh, hey, the ambulance got there. Okay, okay, okay. So I didn't completely bomb this whole thing. Uh, did, did the ambulance just run over the kid? Alright, gather all the clues, put events in the correct order. Skid marks are irrelevant, passenger door is still locked. Blood stains are irrelevant. Impact point. Uh, collision with oncoming truck. Four prints. These skid marks. Puddle is irrelevant. Puddle is irrelevant. I don't see anything else that would have been a big factor over here. I very well could be missing something, though. Wall puddles are relevant. Driver's door. Passenger door. I need two more clues. Uh, don't you guys need to get them to, like, hospitals? Okay. You know what? That's fine. Oh, I can't explore the trailer. Alright. I didn't turn these on. Alright, put events in the correct order. So, uh, Ford jumped in the road. Old dude. Okay. There was a collision. I'm guessing old dude was there. This happened. No. He wasn't wearing a seatbelt, so he was ejected. And at some point, secondary to the initial impact, she uh, she collided with the trailer. After careful examination at the hospital, Jacob Haraldson was diagnosed with a spinal injury. He underwent emergency surgery, for after which he had to complete several months of rehabilitation to be able to walk again. Currently, Jacob works as a security guard at a local supermarket monitoring the cameras. And we'll need to take painkillers the rest of his life. Ouch. Okay. You know, Pulp suffered significant blood loss due to a deep laceration of his arm by a piece of glass. Fortunately, your CPR saved his life, and the paramedics stopped the bleeding. The wounds healed quickly, but the glass severed several nerves. Ingolf lost full use of his left hand. The injuries were minor, however, and he was able to function normally. When Suzanne's car hit the back of the trailer, its bumper smashed the front window and hit and hit her in the head, her, killing her instantly. There was nothing you or the paramedics could do. Buried a week later in her hometown. 
After the impact, August Ollander went into shock, which resulted in a coma. He suffered from several minor internal injuries. Five weeks, he regained consciousness, up and returned home to live with his father. The accident and death of his mother traumatized him severely, and he had to undergo therapy for two years. After that, he returned to school. Wow, game. Like, you do everything right, and it's still just a giant fuck you at the end of it. Okay. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, like, that's fucking terrible. Alright, and that's that's all of Accident the Pilot. Dear Lord. Uh, I'm not going to say this is going to be a good game. It's one I will play. And the game is well made. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but yeah, that's like a, a kick in the balls after you do everything right. Damn. But guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh... I'll be back tomorrow, same same time, different game. Let me know what you think in the comments. Be, uh, you know, as always, guys, have a wonderful night.